Now it turns out uh, that as I mentioned before, there's more than one different sort of electromagnetic wave. Electromagnetic waves can take on a very wide range of frequencies. Remember that for a sound wave, different frequencies result in different pitches. The sound wave could be high or low. It turns out that uh, if we change the frequency of an electromagnetic wave, then it will travel at the same speed through empty space as if we left its frequency the same. So all electromagnetic waves travel at the same speed through empty, sp through empty space. It turns out that if we put it through a medium, like water or air, it'll tend to change its speed just slightly based on its frequency, but it still moves far faster than a sound wave, for example. So the speed of light, or of any electromagnetic wave, is this number here, 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Now because this is in scientific notation, it's sort of a difficult number to visualize. So there are other ways that we can think of this number. We can say it's 300 million meters per second, or we could say it's 300,000 kilometers per second. When you think of how far one kilometer is, or how far a thousand kilometers is, it makes you realize that light must be traveling very fast indeed, if it can travel 300,000 kilometers in a single second. Given that light moves at this speed, 300 million meters per second, and that it takes 8.26 minutes for light from the sun to reach Earth, calculate the distance between the two. So this shouldn't be too hard a question. All we need to remember is distance equals speed times time. The problem is we're given a figure in meters per second and we're given a time in minutes. And if we were to multiply this speed by this time, we wouldn't get an answer in meters because we don't have the same units of time. We're using seconds here and minutes there. And so we can't really mix these up. What we'll have to do is turn this number of minutes into a number of seconds, and then we'll be able to use it with our speed of light. The other thing that we could do, of course, is change this number into meters per minute, but that wouldn't be using SI units, so we're not going to do it. The first thing we do is take the number of minutes and multiply by 60, and we'll end up with the number of seconds which turns out to be almost 500 seconds. And what now? Well, of course, all we need to do is remember that distance is speed times time. So we've got time, we've got speed, and multiplying them together, we end up at an answer of 1.49 times 10 to the 11 meters. So this is about 150 billion meters, or 150 million kilometers. It's a very long distance. This is in fact roughly the value of the astronomical unit, which is a measure of distance often used in astronomy.